Hi there. So in this video, we will see how to use MongoDB database with our programming language. So I have MongoDB installed and server is running right now. You can see Mongo is on. Also, MongoDB shows list of these databases. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to this data set and add into my collection. Okay. So first thing to do is go to tools then install packages and in this dialog box type in mongo light you need this package in order to work with this example next thing to do is use library mongo light okay after that call for library then data sets next thing call for iris database okay now what we're going to do is we are going to clean up iris database table so that it can be added into mongodb collection so use names inside this point to iris okay so the data is properly just it now I forgot to give dot in between these square bracket and that was missing part okay once you have that next thing to do is check your clean data it head iris and here you see your data is now clean from that dot in between simple length and petal length okay now what we have to do here now is we have to connect with mongodb collection okay and we have to add that into our existing collection so let's start with that first thing let's go ahead and call for variable that we'll call mongo and here we check for collection in my case it is iris in your connection it could be different and let's say i want to name this as my iris demo okay so we have these two things sorted and then i'm going to insert using my variable name then insert and that insert method accepts our collection of files okay so let's just get to it and here you see our 150 rows are added to our collection next thing I'm going to check how many of these are distinct values so let's check for one species you see three values are input from that result next thing you can also check for aggregate function and you get total 150 rows of data now the next thing we can check for is within our database you can count you can export you can find specific you can also get info about that data so let's go with count for now and you get 150 rows here similarly you can also check for find and here you can check for specific value for of simple length or simple width as well then you have info as well let's check that and you get to see entire information about our mongodb server okay so these are some of the ways with which you can access mongodb database in r in my case i'm using r studio you can use default RGUI to access as well.